Lucy Charles Barclay is one of the best female triathletes today. In this video, we will tell you all about her accomplishments in her career as a triathlete and her rise to the top of the triathlon leaderboards. Keep watching. Welcome to Triathlon Global Insights, the motivation channel for all triathletes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with what's happening in the triathlon world. We keep you updated about triathlon news, incredible races, training tips, and information about pro athletes. Lucy Charles Barclay was born on the 15th of September, 1993, as a daughter to Mark and Elaine, where she, at a very young age, learned to swim. One of the first memories from her childhood is jumping into the deep end of the pool and swimming to her parents who were at the other side of the pool. Needless to say, Lucy Charles was a great swimmer from a young age, and it is what she dedicated her life to being as a teenager. She won the county swimming championships in Hertfordshire at the age of nine and quickly moved her way up the ladder to become a finalist in the 200 meter butterfly in Crystal Palace in 2004. However, she tragically failed to qualify for the swimming Olympics after being beaten by Carrie Ann Payne. She was devastated because one month prior to the qualifier, she had actually swum faster than Carrie Ann Payne. And so, she was left at a big crossroad in her life. Continuing her journey as a professional swimmer and qualifying for the next Olympics or quit the sport and sports in general. Lucy chose the third option of turning her attention to Ironman triathlons, a sport where her swimming background came in very handy. With renewed energy and even hungrier than before, Lucy took to triathlons like a duck to water and was the first from her age category to finish the 2015 Ironman World Championship. The Brit specialized in the full Ironman and middle distances and excelled and went on to win the Ironman Lanzarote in May 2017 and the Challenge Family Championship. Lucy is also one of the most popular and marketable triathletes in the world, having a YouTube channel with 70,000 subscribers, a dedicated site, and being very active on social media. It wasn't a big surprise when she got more and more Sponsors such as the energy drink giants of Red Bull, who have made a name for themselves being a brand that likes to support the most eye-catching athletes. Lucy is often seen wearing a Red Bull branded cap or bike helmet. Speaking of sponsors, her signature color is pink, and her bike sponsor gave her a pink bike to race with. Ever since the color pink has been synonymous with Lucy, she is also sponsored by Roca and Endura, which are praised high among triathletes for their quality of products. Her most impressive feat is when she finished a swim in only 48 29 and finished second behind Sarah Crowley, which started to give her more and more attention. At the 2017 Ironman World Championship, she finished second place again behind the dominant four-time world champion, Daniela Reef. But Lucy got back to her winning ways when she won her second Ironman race in South Africa in 2017. 2018 was a big year for multiple reasons. She had been together with her coach for quite some time now. However, in December, Reese and Lucy got married. They are quite discreet about their private life, so we don't know how long they were dating before they got married, but we do know that they met in 2011 while training with Hatfield Elite Swim Squad. They now live in Hatfield where Reese is a four-time world champion in Ironman triathlon coaches, not only his wife Lucy, but other athletes. 2018 was also a big year performance-wise as she set a new personal best with eight hours, 56 minutes and 10 seconds in the African Ironman Championship, beating her previous record by four minutes. Daniela Reef once again was too strong for Lucy in 2018, but Lucy managed to break the swim split time record with 16 seconds. Her overall time was the second best time ever ran, but was once again shy of the first place finish. In 2019, however, all conditions were right. All the hard work that she had put in finally came together in the European Ironman Championships, where she broke the world record with five minutes to spare. In 2021, she continued to show her dominance over the rest of the field when she won the Ironman 70.3 World Championship, beating the nearest competitor by eight minutes, clearly putting a statement to the world that she was no doubt the best female triathlete there is. Unlike many other triathletes, Lucy qualified as an open water swimmer compared to most others who lack pure swimming pace to be the best of the best. Other athletes lacked a history in swimming to compete with Lucy. This is why Lucy Charles Barclay is a true one-of-a-kind athlete. To portray her kind of dominance in not only swimming, but also in cycling and running is simply incredible. Now, you might 
ask what the next big accomplishment could be for a woman who has already achieved everything in May, Lucy will once again participate in the St. George Ironman World Championship, where she will be able to defend her title. And in October, the long-awaited World Championship in Kona, Hawaii will be held. Lucy is also a part of an elite group of triathletes to attempt the Sub-7, Sub-8 Challenge. For those who don't know what that is, in the Sub-7, Sub-8 Challenge, male triathletes will attempt to complete a full Ironman triathlon within the 7-hour mark. For females and for Lucy, the time to beat will be 8 hours. Even though the date and location has not yet been revealed, we do know what triathletes will attempt this challenge. Alistair Brownlee, Christian Blumenfeld, Nicholas Spierig, and Lucy Charles Barclay are the four to attempt this challenge, which has often been considered to be impossible. However, working harder than ever before with the perfect team providing the optimal gear and nutrition, all four are sure that the sub-7, sub-8 triathlon is within reach. Impossible has never been a word Lucy believed in, and after such a dominant performance in St. George, Lucy will be hungrier than ever to prove once again that she can do the impossible. If you enjoyed this video, on our channel are many informative videos just like this one. Click the like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep you posted on new daily uploads about triathlons. If you have any video suggestions that you want us to research and make a video about, please let us know down in the comments section. See you next time.